Hello friends, I am so excited you've all joined me today because today we're gonna hear one of my favorite Bible stories. It's about a guy named Elijah and a widow and how God arrives just in time and provides. Well, hang on because we're gonna see Kelly do some more cool things with a thankful tree and Diana and some adventures with her friend Betty. You won't wanna miss it. All right, hang on. I just wanna thank God for the way He made me. Everywhere I look, I see how much He loves me. I am so excited. I am so excited. And I just can't hide it. And I just can't hide it. Yes, I love Him too. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, I love Him too. It's true. God's love is special. Buddy, it was so much fun. Man, I wish you would have gone with me. Well, you know how much I hate when I can't see the sky. Yeah, I know, but but it was still really fun. Yeah. Oh, oh, hey guys. Hey, I was just telling my friend Buddy about how we went on a corn maze at the pumpkin patch. It was so much fun. Hey, have you ever been on a corn maze? Yeah, well, it's, it's really fun. It's they take a cornfield and they cut a path through, but you have no idea where you're going. It's so much fun. That doesn't sound so hard or very fun. <laughs> it is a little bit hard because you don't know which way is the way out and you might get a little bit stuck. Sounds a little crazy. Ooh. Well, it, it did get a little bit crazy at one point. I actually got a little bit lost. I went one direction and I should have gone the other direction. And pretty soon I was doing circles. And then I realized I left all my snacks back in the car. I was so hungry. Oh no, how did you find your way out? Well, actually, funny story. That's actually how I made my way out. I smelled the most delicious thing in the whole world. What was it? It was corn on the cob. You know, they were roasting it at the finish line. I used my nose to find my way to the end. Corn, what kind mm, of corn? Mm, it's so delicious. It's corn on the cob. Oh, corn on the cob, that is disgusting, yuck. Oh no, Ugh. it's super yummy. Oh, no way, no thank you. Ugh. 
I don't like corn on the cob. Okay. You know, buddy, don't yuck my yum. What does that mean? Well, that's when you say yuck to something that I say yum to. There's so many different kinds of food. We can all like something different. There might be something that you like, and maybe something I like, and maybe something we both like. That's true. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, actually, there's even a whole bunch of different ways you can eat corn. Well, I like corn. I, re I do. I just don't like corn on the cob. Ugh. Okay. Mm -mm. Well, what is your favorite? I think you should guess. Oh, that sounds fun. Let's see. Is it frozen corn? Nope. Corn chips? Nope. Candy corns? No. Oh. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Is it corn meal? No way. <sighs> corn tortillas? Tasty, but not by themselves. Mm -mm. Mm. Uh, corn syrup? What is that? I no. Don't, I don't know. Mm -mm. I, would... I know. Creamed corn. Oh, uh, nope. That's yeah. a nope. Me mm -mm. neither. Corn mm -mm. muffins? Yummy, but not my favorite. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Corned beef? That's not real corn. Uh, oh, I know. I was just being a little corny. Ah, <laughs> uh, buddy, I have run out of ideas. I have no idea. What is your favorite kind of corn? about popcorn. Mm -hmm. You're right, that is delicious. There are so many different ways to have corn and even more ways to have different kinds of food. You know, each time I have food, I like to remember to say, thank you, God, for this food. That's a great idea, Diana. Hey, what's your favorite food? That sounds delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, each time, you have a snack or some kind of food, you can take a minute and just say, thanks God for this food. Mm -hmm. Hey buddy, I have a surprise for you. <gasps> what? Popcorn! Thank you, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. So I have continued to be thankful and have gratitude and find reasons to be thankful for this mask. And I have to tell you, when Diana and Buddy were talking about corn on the cob, I could not help myself. I had to get me some corn and I ate that corn. It was so delicious, but I was a little worried because that butter was dripping down my face. And I was just worried that maybe I got some corn in my teeth, but since you're my friends, I wanted to know if you'd, you'd check and make sure that, that I don't have any corn or butter on my face. Would you do that? Oh. Do I have any? <laughs> oh, oh. You know what time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. Me and you at the Wonder Clubhouse. Me and you. Hold and push. Hold and push. Oh, yeah. Oh, hi. Welcome to the clubhouse. I'm Kai. Can you guess what I'm doing? That's right. I'm making bread. Well, actually, right now, I'm kneading the bread. You fold and push. Fold and push. It's so much fun. But there was a lot to do before I got to the kneading part. First, I had to mix the flour and salt in the oil. Then I pour it in the yeast. You have to be careful with it and pour it in slowly. Then I mixed it into the flour. Finally, I got to knead. But the kneading 
and really is the best part of making bread. You fold and push. Fold and push. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Kai. Who? Who? Making some bread today, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. Kneading the bread is my favorite part. It's awesome. Making bread is fun. It's true. I know of someone who made bread just like you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Okay, go fetch Stormy Jane. <laughs> Oh, hi friends, I'm Carrie, and today I'm playing fetch with my best dog, Stormy Jane. Whoa, Stormy Jane, hold on, silly dog. Wait, where's the toy? Oh, you brought me your bowl. She seems upset. What do you guys think Stormy Jane wants? Oh, food, I bet you're right. Are you hungry, Stormy Jane? I will take that as a yes. Have you guys ever been hungry? Like really hungry? Like so hungry that your tummy is making that rumbling noise? You have? Well, Stormy has for sure. Which reminds me of a story about a guy who was really hungry. Let me get Stormy some food and I'll tell it to you. This true story from the Bible begins with a man named Elijah who one day got very, very hungry. But there was no food or water anywhere. God told Elijah to go to a woman that God had chosen and she would give him food. So Elijah went off to find her. Tell me if you see the woman. A goat? No, that's not her. There's a man, but that's not who we're looking for. You see her? You're right, there she is. That's the woman God said to ask. So Elijah went up to her and said, can I have a drink of water please? And a piece of bread? I'm very hungry. I'm so sorry, she said. I don't have any bread. I only have a little oil and a little flour. I'm picking up sticks so I can make one more meal for me and my son. Then we won't have any food left. But Elijah told the woman, don't be afraid. God will help you. So the woman went home and she used the last of her flour and oil to make bread for Elijah. There goes the oil. And there goes the flour. Now she's got to pat the dough. Can everyone help? Let's pat it. Pat, pat, pat. Now let's knead it. Knead, knead, knead. Good job, little bakers. You can stop. The bread is ready. The woman gave it to Elijah, who was super hungry. Thank you, Elijah said. But what about the woman and her son? They needed bread too. All her flour and oil were gone. But remember, Elijah had told her that God would help her. Look, on the table, there's more oil and there's more flour. Elijah told her that God said she would not run out of flour or oil. And they didn't. From that day on, Elijah, the woman, and her son all had food to eat. They were very thankful for the food God gave them. God is good. Oh, hi, Ollie. Ollie, tell me. Who is good? God is good. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is good? God is good. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Bye. So there's your story. It's all true. God helped the woman and her family. God is good. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow! The woman made bread for Elijah, and then God made sure she would have more flour and oil to make more bread. God is good. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. I know Elijah was thankful for that bread. I'm thankful for bread, too. I should write that down and put it on our thankful tree. I'm thankful for bread and apples and bananas and pizza and I have so many leaves to add. See you guys next time. Goodbye.
Welcome back, everybody. I am so excited to be with you. We are going to be adding to our thankful tree, and this time we're going to be talking about the different kinds of food God has given us. You know, we are so blessed. We have so many choices that we get to choose from about what we eat, you know, for breakfast and lunch and dinner and even dessert. We have so many choices. And I want to ask you guys to think about what are your favorites? You could think about maybe favorite cereals, favorite candy, favorite pizza toppings. You know, as I was thinking, one of my favorites, and actually I think if I only had one choice for the rest of my life, I would choose tacos. There is nothing in this world for me that beats a taco. Now I know some of you may not like tacos and that's quite all right. Some people like some things, some people don't like it and that's okay. God made us all different and it's okay to be that way. What we're going to do today is I want you guys to go out and find some leaves. It is the perfect time right now to go out on a walk with your family and gather up a bunch of leaves. We have a whole bunch of different kinds that I've already picked up. And what you're going to do is take a marker, think about your favorite foods, and we're gonna write them on our leaves, and then we're gonna add them to our thankful tree. So like I said, one of my favorites is tacos. So I'm gonna go ahead and add tacos to my leaf. And I know sometimes adults and kids have different ideas of what their favorites are too. I know adults always want us to eat our vegetables. And I think some kids are probably like, ooh, vegetables, but God did give us vegetables because they can make us healthy and strong. So even if they're not your favorite, you might want to try some of those too. And as I'm talking about vegetables, I would probably have to say my favorite vegetable is probably carrots. So I'm going to add carrots to my thankful tree as well. And as we were talking about what kids like, you know, I have a couple of boys at home and a couple of girls, and we've been celebrating birthdays. And one of their favorites, they would say, is they love cake. And my son, for his birthday, he chose pizza. And the other one chose macaroni and cheese. And I think those are probably favorites that you guys would like. So as you go out on your walk, pick up some leaves, be thinking about what your favorites are. And now I have mine. I'm gonna go ahead and tape these to my tree. And again, we've been talking about all the good things God has put in our life. One of those good things is the food he's given us to make us strong, to make us healthy. I'm gonna add these. And I'm super excited to see what kind of things you guys come up with. I love it. Our thankful tree is getting full and so beautiful. Go ahead, talk with your family or friends about what kind of favorites they have and add it to your tree. And we'll see you next time. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Psalm 107.1 Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Psalm 107.1 Oh, hey, friends. Hey, I love reading about Elijah and his story in my Bible. You know, he talked to the widow, and, you know, they shared some food. God helped them, and he provided so much food. You know, food can come from a lot of different spaces. You can go to the grocery store and pick up food. You can get it from the garden. You know, you can even get food from a school bus these days. Isn't it crazy? But you know what? No matter whether you have food that you can share with somebody else or somebody shares food with you, you know, everybody has to eat. And when you do have that food, you can say, thank you, God. Thank you for this food. So when I was 16, I got my first job at a grocery store. And I was so excited when I got promoted from bagging groceries to being a checker until they told me I had to memorize a code for every single fruit and vegetable that was in the store. Back then, they didn't have the little scanners. Well, at 16, I walked down the aisles and that was when I learned the difference between aroma tomato and a hothouse. You know, I won't even tell you about all of the varieties of apples that were there, but it was at that moment that I realized 
that there was such a huge variety of food that God had given us. And it reminds me that it's a great opportunity for us as parents and grandparents to point back at these little things that God does to help our kids and remind them that God thinks about the little things, even the variety of food, because some of us like this and some of us like that, and it's all good because God provides and we can be thankful even for those little things. So a great challenge this week is let's help our kids see a great variety of things that are right in front of us and remind us that we can even be thankful for food.